how is financial services cloud different from sales cloud you want to cover it ah i can cover that i mean for me it's it's same it's 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 built to- on top of the salesforce platform yeah. sales cloud is also built on top of the sales platform uh, i mean salesforce platform which we already used to call it as force.com platform i don't know why i have got some itch with the history of things <laughs> uh but yeah i mean that's exactly what it is so earlier uh earlier it was about like for what was force.com platform is now salesforce platform and that salesforce uh, on, on top of that salesforce platform is the sales cloud and on top of that salesforce platform is uh, velocity and using velocity we have built salesforce financial services cloud so it's technically the same but yeah as an offering it's these are two different things there are two different licenses that you go uh, like that you pay for when you use sales cloud sales cloud only and when you use financial services cloud on top of salesforce sales cloud that might make you think that way that financial services cloud is a different thing because that's exactly how it is presented <laughs> but it's technically one and the same thing it's just that that you do not have to uh, worry about the implementation of it and the customization of the salesforce vanilla platform uh, to get it customized according to the needs and requirements of your business and your industry it is you are already getting it customized or like pre customized according to the best of the best standards of your industry and according to the best of the best standards of your business and that's exactly what the major difference is but still we have got a lot of written down in our presentation so i would want vishji to cover it <laughs> so i would say like you had already covered most of the part when we discussed you know initially what financial services cloud is so again the industry focus again it is you know targeting the financial services industry where sales cloud is much more generalized per, uh, purpose crm then we have target users it's targeting the financial advisors wealth managers insurance agents and banking professionals then we have customizations like again the customizations in financial services cloud are very specific to the industry itself only and in sales cloud is general you know purpose customizations then we have client life cycle management uh, again uh, sales cloud primarily focuses on uh, sales pipeline lead generation opportunity management whereas service cloud focuses uh, financial services cloud focus on client onboarding financial planning ongoing relationship management then we have wealth management features which are again specific to financial services cloud but sales cloud does not offer them out of the box but we can build them if you want to and then we have industry specific app exchange applications uh which are you know kind of app exchange apps which are only available for financial services cloud and then sales cloud has its own general purpose applications you see the reason why i incorporate this is like you know sometime businesses feel like why i should get financial services cloud i should get sales cloud and then get it customized then get it customized but yeah you i think you covered it initially in a much in a much, much you know i would say deeper deeper way when deeper i was and a very simple struggling way. with a lot of hurt that was happening in our studio yeah. because of which i was getting a little nervous which i never used to uh <laughs> but all right yeah so see that's why i kind of you know kept it over here because customers sometimes you know feel like i should get a sales cloud i should get a financial services cloud because the cost is uh, there is a big difference over there of course the yeah. cost that's the major difference yes. that's that's what it is <laughs>